Here's a question I want to answer for you. What are the most common mistakes that I see people make in dealing with insurance companies? First of all, believing what the insurance company says to you. They're going to tell you, we just need you to sign a few forms. We're going to take care of you. It's not that big of a deal. Another mistake people make is actually signing those forms and sending them back to the insurance company. Another mistake is not calling the police because they're going to investigate the case and they're going to get all the information that's going to be needed to help prove your case. One of the things I certainly would never do is I wouldn't discuss fault with anybody. Whether you think it's the other driver's fault or your fault, that's something you don't need to be talking about. I think if the case is more than a minor bump up, the mistake is talking with the insurance adjuster before you talk with a personal injury attorney who can give you some good sound advice on how to handle your claim. The big mistake that I see, and sometimes it's fairly sad because you can't help it, but waiting to get medical attention, you need to seek immediate medical attention. I know this is difficult in some situations. Uh, however, some people will try to tough it out. Don't try to cut it out. Go make sure that you're okay and find out what you need to do to fully recover. In other situations, it's a little more difficult because you don't have health insurance. You don't have Medicare, Medicaid. You don't have VA benefits and you don't have money to pay. Call us and let us help. This is something that I fire clients for and that's not telling me the truth. I can assure you that that will do nothing but come back and harm you and harm your personal injury claim. I'm also not a big fan of having a lawyer to direct your medical care. That's what you have physicians for. Let them tell you what you need to do to recover, not the lawyer that's represented. Another mistake that people commonly make is having a lawyer who's not a personal injury lawyer to help you with your case. I don't do patent law, I don't do employment law, so don't come to me for advice like that. I do personal injury law, and you should always go to a personal injury lawyer who handles these cases on a regular basis. A huge pet peeve of mine, and I think a major mistake, never hire a lawyer who contacts you after a ride. And don't get advice on the lawyer to hire from someone that you don't know. They may simply be trying to get you to go to a particular lawyer because they're getting paid to do that. Here's a big problem with that. Lawyers that call you after racks or have someone to come sign you up to go to their law firm, they can't get cases any other way. And they can't get cases any other way for a reason. 